Hi, this is Jeff from Storage Nerds, and we have another one. This is number F12. This is what I saw from the pictures, but it's 10 by 10. There's a ton of stuff in here. So let me move a couple of things, and then we're gonna get back into this tomorrow. <laughs> So, as you can see, it goes back there and it goes over to there. It goes, yeah, we got, we got stuff back in here. There's some Christmas stuff right there. Yep. That box you were just messing Yep. So coming into the garage of things that we have for the yard sale, we have this tub of tools, just miscellaneous tools and tool related objects that will go to our dollar yard sale. Um, we've got these items, which we haven't decided on. We've got this Pier 1 Imports, um, um, whatever you call that, the wicker furniture. That's on, that's already listed. We've got this table, which you saw a lot of. This was our work table. And this concrete table with glass. That's already listed. Now all of this table here is Etsy. So we have some some games, a um, couple of question marks, um, but pretty certain that all of this is Etsy. All of this stuff is Etsy. We got that whole box of Playboys, all 70s and and um, some 80s. We've got a wooden cigar box from Cuba. Um, just some odds and ends, all kinds of different things. Some dolls, some porcelain dolls, some Barbie dolls, some Barbie doll accessories from uh, vintage. We've got these wooden shoes. We've got a whole box of cameras and micro cassettes and cassette players. Um, we've got a phone that lights up from the 80s. We've got some odds and ends glassware. All of this stuff you'll find on our on our Etsy page at some point. We've got some silverware. We've got a original crock pot. Um, like I said, the Playboys. So all of that stuff is um, on Etsy. Now this stuff here, we haven't. Oh, these two chairs we haven't tested yet. I don't know why. I keep putting them and keep moving them, but I haven't opened them. So we've got crafts. We've got like pens and paper and like office supplies, school supplies, crafts and crafts. I'm not sure how we're gonna handle this. Um, we may like put a grocery bag out and say a grocery bag for a dollar. I don't know. Um, there's a lot of stuff here and it's not an individually type sold. I mean, these letters were only a dollar to begin with. So I don't know. So I think we're gonna do a dollar a box. Over here we have some more um, Etsy stuff. That's not, that's part of unit number nine, which you saw the video, the, the strip, uh, strip cup gambler number nine. That's from there. We thought we had that sold, the person never showed. Happens a lot. Uh, we've got this cool, this cool busted, but vintage sailor lamp. Pretty cool. Um, we're still researching that. Same thing with with this this wooden asian type thing was a lamp you can see the hole back here and um, we found examples of it as a lamp um some bowls all this stuff is etsy type stuff uh now suitcases a different unit um we've got the roller blades we've got all this stuff here 
this is basically um, going to be on Macari. This is from another unit, um, but we're going to relist this on Macari. All of this stuff is like Macari stuff. Um, it's not vintage, but it's still got decent value. Then we roll back into here. Not all of this is from that unit. We've got a bunch of shot glasses and glassware, a bunch more glassware, a bunch more glassware, a bunch more glassware. All of this stuff we're going for 50 cents at the yard sale. Um, these four things are dollar jewelry. Let's see, we've got um, these bins are basically for the yard sale. Some of it's from this unit. Um, most of it's not. Um, there's a few things in here from this unit. Um, this box is from just the stuff on top. Um, this printer, these two printers are going to go for the dollar. This whole box, they've got some ties and some other things that are from different units. We've got the leftover books and CDs and DVDs. A bunch of electronics, just random keyboards and some subwoofers that are probably end up in the trash. You know, a Sony CD changer for a car. Just random stuff. We have plugs and we've got some more electronics there. We've got the two beta VHS players, not beta VHS, but beta, beta max players. Basically, if you're not familiar, they're old style. It's, it's kind of like the whole Blu-ray HD DVD debate. This was a beta max versus the VHS tape debate. The betas were smaller, um, made by Sony and Sony lost that one. Um, let's see what else we got here. And then we've got a whole box of game and game stuff. Now we sold, um, already we sold a whole bunch of video games and a whole bunch and, and two systems, Game Boy Color and the Sega Dreamcast. We sold those and a bunch of games for 400 bucks um, just today, actually. Like I said, we did great. It was a $10 investment and you can see by the stacks of things and there's a bunch of stuff downstairs. So let us let me run downstairs okay so we're down here in my basement where i do shipping and receiving and research and such and you can see right here we have a couple of items um this is a vintage bowl holder from the unit that's from different units um these are all from that unit things that are going on etsy there's some artwork in here. Um, this is a box from there, as you can see. It's, it's a lot of it's just vintage collectible type stuff. Dishes and bowls and plates and this little box of, of uh, I don't know, it's not marbled fruit, but this little box right here is surprisingly expensive. Um, it is, we're probably looking at $1,000 just for this box of stuff. Um, we have you know, glassware and various knickknacks that and we looked up. We've got stuff down here. We've got this glassware. We've got some some toys, some, some and some other small items in here that are worth worth stuff. Um, so it comes down here, and we clean it up, and then we research it. We take a bunch of pictures, and then it gets boxed and weighed and and listed. Um, we have some artwork. We have the this vintage plastic yard snowman. Now you remember when we were going through in the last video, all the hats. Now, assuming that these hats, most of them are worth 20 or more, and we've got two full boxes of them, um, probably a thousand dollars or more right there. Um, here's another box of things for Etsy. And we already have some items um, boxed up and listed. We've got this porcelain doll. We have some steins. Um, we have um, some, this is some canopy plates. We have a Santa Claus statue thing. We've got the McDonald's Batman cups. We have the McDonald's Flintstones cup. We have uh, a brass trinket box. We have another stein. We've got the metal elephant snuffer. Um, the Lennox basket, ceramic doves. Um, porcelain, it's like a, um, 
whatever that brand is, what does it say? Bing and um, Grendel or something like that. It's a porcelain, it's like a little sphere um, container bowl type thing. Um, here's another stein right there. Um, all this stuff here that you see with the little post-its on there, all of that stuff is already listed on Etsy um, or elsewhere online. You can find the links for our Etsy store downstairs. As you can see, we've done pretty daggone good on this unit. Um, we're already at 800 and some bucks. We sold some video games today, like I said earlier. When I get back, we're going to have all of our totals.